Uh, I'm going to talk to you about streaming iterable, iterables in, um, in JS and JS IBFS. I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, the types of these sources, transform sinks and duplex is, and um, that's all for now. Um, so it all started with iterators, uh, and lots of things in JavaScript are uh, iterable at the moment. Uh, like sets, maps, and arrays. Um, so typically you'd have like um, some things like some data. Uh, let's put for A. Uh, and if you wanted to get an iterable out of your data, you just call the, um, the function for it. So equal data uh, iterator. And that will give you back an iterator. And then with that, you can just call next and you can call that until it's done. And I get out the values, I get back an object which tells me if it's done or not, but I also get the values out of that uh, array and then I can keep calling that until, until it's done. Um, and it's also kind of cool because I can use it in, um, in for loops uh, and then like that. Uh, and, and what the for loop will do was it will unpack that object that it gets back and give me the value uh, so I don't, I don't get that value done thing, I just get the value and it automatically uh, finishes the loop when everything's done. Um, and I get, I get the values, which is great. Um, so that's iterators or iterables. Um, and then um, what happened is that async iterate, uh, iterators came along. Um, and, and instead of next returning an object that's just uh, done and the value, it returns a promise of that object. So now uh, our, our thing that we're getting data out of can asynchronously give us things. Um, and so what else do we know that yields things asynchronously? Um, streams. Uh, so what we can do now is we can use a language native thing to stream data without any libraries in the browser. Um, so that's super fun. And it's really easy. I, um, so this is a, uh, an iterable that I made called, uh, which I called infinite random because it, it, <laughs> it yields random numbers forever. Uh, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Um, and what you, all you can do with, uh, with uh, async iterables is you can use a for await uh, loops. Um, and then I can just get uh, every value. So this is the iterator. We're saying, every, give me uh, every value out of this infinite random. Um, and it will just keep chugging and chugging and chugging and giving me random values. So let's have a look. Uh, I can just paste this into here. Uh, and it will just kind of occasionally spurt out some random, uh, random values, which is cool. Uh, it's just easy because streaming is now like it's a for loop. It, like you don't, you no longer have to think about like Node.js streams and like attaching data events and attaching end events and piping them to places and, and stuff like that. It's 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 just a for loop. It's one of the first things you learn when you're a programmer. Um, so hooray, uh, that's great. Um, but wait a minute. We, uh, we it's not just uh, we don't just read from streams. We also write to them, uh, and we also have streams that can take some data and transform it and spit out some data. And then in network stuff, we have duplex streams, so we can uh, have kind of not really connected data to servers and back and vice versa. So uh, we need the whole family of streams. Um, so sources is what I've been talking about so far. It's just a it's just an <coughs> async iterable. Um, so that's what we've called a source. Um, a sync is just a function. Uh, so the, here we've got like a, a logger sync, and it the function is just a function, and it takes a source, and then it does something with it. It, it usually consumes it because otherwise it's a bit useless. Um, and then optionally it can return something. So this is this logger sync takes a source, iterates over it, and logs out each value. It's kind of like what we did just a second ago with that um, random random thing, but we've kind of formalized it as a thing. Um, a transform uh, is is uh, a, a kind of sync and a source because it takes it. So this is our transform, the doubler thing here, um, and it it takes a source um, and it returns. So okay, I'm not going to get into generators, but um, generators when you call them, they will return you a, a, a and uh, in this because it's an async generator, it will return you an async iterable. Um, and what we what it does is it just suspends execution of a function until it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, um, it, it takes a source and it returns an async iterable. So it's just a function that returns an async iterable. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's a transform. And then we have duplex, which is kind of the weird one, um, because it's actually an object which has a source and a sync. 
uh, and it's kind of like a transform, like you can model a transform as a duplex uh, that where these two things are connected in some way. Um, so kind of fun. Um, and then so what you'll typically do, because um, oh, I didn't show you the things. Let me, uh, so what we can do here, I can just do, take these. So this is the transform which doubles my randomness. Uh, uh, so if I paste that in, uh, instead of getting um, like zero dot values, I'll get doubled doubled randoms. Um, so, so that's kind of fun. Um, there we go. And then so often you kind of want um, some utilities and things for working with async iterators because one of the most useful things that um, you might want is pipe because you, you kind of sometimes have these pipelines of streams that you kind of want to keep separate as different, different kind of discrete pieces of functionality. Um, but you don't want to have to like, like stuff like this where we've got, we've got this, the, um, the, the source is being passed into the doubler, is being passed into the logger. Uh, like you just have this big long like function call chain and it's actually a little bit easier to see it as, as, as something like this. So we can, uh, we can use a, a thing called pipe. Um, and then other utilities like um, the, the just modules that we create, it stands for iterable, um, like last. Really useful when, um, so IPFS add in JS IPFS now is a, uh, it, it's, it returns an async iterable. And actually when you add stuff to IPFS, you can't, if you're adding lots of files, you want the last item from the iter iterator. So you might want to use that. It tar, uh, IPFS get returns tar, uh, tar, um, tarred up data. You have to untar it or pack it either way. Uh, it glob is useful when you're, um, you want to add like files from your file system um, and it might want to glob all the files and it just gives you back um, stuff. And often what we do in IPFS is prefix things with um, varints. Uh, and so you might want some utilities like that. Um, so we made loads of these uh, in the process of async await. Um, and then I put, made a list of them at it awesome because they are all awesome. What's really awesome is that there's a lot of these, a lot of these utilities are going to be kind of defunct because um, actually async iterators are, are like they are due to get, there's a proposal for them to get uh, a whole load of utilities. So you'll just be able to, so for uh, like, there's a utility called it all, which collects all of the items in an iterable, like buffers them up. Um, but async iterables will have like a two array function that you can just await on and then, uh, and, and that would do it for you. And then you wouldn't need, you don't need the modules. You don't need half of them. So um, some of them are temporary, but um, yeah, anyway. Um, and so streaming iterables, as I've explained them there uh, really quickly in hopefully less than five minutes, uh, I kind of underpin all of the streaming in JS, IPFS, JS, P2P and I, uh, IPLD as well. Um, and that's all I have.